I think that the, the, the growth is always going to be coming from, you start with great movies, great television product, great video games. If you make great content, then your strategies of, of and, and consolidation are all pieces of the puzzle of what's going to happen, but it all begins there. And I think that when you walk through this park and you see the level of detail, the, the execution, it's exactly what I'm talking about. It, it's, it's something that we can all be proud of. It's something that will ultimately work because it is, you could feel the love and care and the characters here. And it's such an immersive experience. I think that's what you, you accomplished Absolutely. in such a big way because you feel the characters come up to you. You, you could feel them and touch them in ways that you can't replicate from a, from a cell phone because so much of our time or of our kids are sent right here with, with a cell phone. You know, you're going to put the cell phone down when you're on these rides. And finally, a question to you, Kevin, about this AT&T Turner tie up. What's happening there? Because obviously it's a very politicized environment right now. The president has made it very clear that he's not very interested in seeing that deal come into force. What happens next? Well, the deal closed. Um, it's, it's being appealed, obviously. And I think that we're working through the appeal process. Um, but, but it's business as usual. We're working forward um, exactly kind of as doing the things like this. This, this, is, this has happened after the merger closed. But I, I think that the partnership, again, the partnership is with us. We're going to figure these things out. And we're part of a bigger company now. But ultimately, business gets done by people. And I think that we're going to continue doing that. So business as usual, that was really the message from the chairman of Warner Brothers there. He wasn't just talking about this billion dollar investment with Abu Dhabi in terms of bringing in tourists to the Emirate, but he was also talking about the growth story in China as well. I asked him, Shri, about that. I asked him about the trade war, if this was impacting business, if he was worried about any kind of knock-on effect, especially when it comes to the Americana. I mean, certainly, you know, we know Bugs Bunny, we know Tweety Bird, we know Wonder Woman. <laughs> Obviously, the, the DC comics, that's something that the, the Warner Brothers folks are really putting a lot of emphasis on. And I asked him if he's worried if there's going to be any kind of backlash uh, against that kind of Americana given all of this geopolitical tension and he seemed to think that that wasn't going to be the case. It is fascinating when you consider uh, the uh, geographical aspect of this uh, theme park and it looks as though uh, the message from both those gentlemen that you interviewed is if you build it they will come. They will come from Europe, they will come from the Middle Eastern market and they will come from China as well. Is that the sense that you are getting from the conversations that you've been having with these developers? Well, certainly that's the hope, Shri, and I think that's been the hope for quite a while now. And as I've mentioned, of course, in the past, you know, this isn't the first tie-up that you've seen with these big Hollywood brands uh, between the Emirates and even in Saudi Arabia. As you know, they're using AMC to really build up their theater and, uh, and entertainment industry. The question is, of course, you know, who's going to come to the Emirates in the middle of, of the, the summer? And that's, of course, why they put these theme parks indoors so that they can be your round attractions and of course one of the big questions is going to be going forward if we can really see those ticket sales ticking up with the tourists because there's also a population here inside the Emirates that they're hoping won't just be buying you know one-off tickets they're hoping that these will be a long-term ticket holder uh, scenario so that's certainly something that they're they're hoping for and they're also hoping that this is going to add jobs and let me tell you something, thank goodness uh, they've put this theme park uh, indoors with air conditioning on full blast, I hope, because I can tell you, Hadley, in my last life, uh, I was a mascot here in Singapore and dealing with the <laughs> equatorial heat uh, in a mascot's costume. I was a bear, uh, for all my sins. Oh. It was pretty hard work. It can be quite dehydrating. So... Um, <laughs> it, uh, they are unsung heroes, really, of the theme parks, these mascots, because there's always one Absolutely. horrible kid who wants to, to kick you up the yeah, backside. Yeah, I got to meet them. There's always one. Oh, no. Hard work. <laughs> Hard work. Unsung heroes. That was me a long time ago. Hey, everybody. It's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.